Hi friends, welcome to another video. In today's video, I wanted to talk about fats. Is eating a low fat diet dangerous? So today I wanted to primarily focus on omegas, omega-3 and 6. Um, I've been getting so many questions lately about um, these fats in particular um, because I do eat a low fat diet and a lot of you know that. Alright, so let's get straight into it. First and foremost, I do want to clarify that the human brain and all of your body cells, your whole body, runs on glucose. They run primarily on sugar. So if you were to um, cut open a human brain and get, dig into that human brain and examine it, you will see that it's basically, basically all sugar, mostly sugar. Um, if you were to eat a human brain, it would be sweet because it's basically sugar. So um, don't believe when you hear someone say, oh, eat all the, eat, eat, eat healthy fats, eat a lot of fats for, for a healthy brain, for a good cognitive function. Yeah, I mean, you do have some fats in there, but it's mostly glucose, it's mostly glucose. All right, now having said that, just because our brain runs primarily on glucose, and just because every cell in our human body runs on glucose, it doesn't mean we don't need no fat. And never ever have I suggested not eating any fats whatsoever. I have said if you want to do in a cleanse uh, a week or even up to a month of eating no overt fats, yeah, that can be healthy, that can be okay, that's really good for a cleanse. However, in the long term, if you want to be eating a sustainable, healthy, um, satisfying vegan diet, then yeah, you want to include some healthy fats like some avocado, coconut, nuts and seeds, nut butters, seed butters, um, things like that. So optimally for a human, we should be in the range of 5 and 15% of our daily calories coming from fats. That is just naturally how it is. If you look at the amount of sugars and fats in the breast milk of a human, so in a woman's breast milk, you will see that ratio where it's primarily sugar. It's primarily sweet. Um, there's barely any fat and protein in it. And if you think of the idea that um, a baby, any baby, any baby human, any baby animal, the biggest growth that they experience is within their first few years of life. So protein and fats will definitely help you bulk up. They will help you grow. They will help you expand in size. They will help you mature. So if you are looking to bulk up, build your muscle, like get really hefty, really like gain some fats, then you would want to be eating and focusing on protein and fats. However, you look at a woman's breast milk, a human breast milk, you will notice that it's not even high in fat and protein. So in our few stages of first uh, stage of life, the first few years of our life, and we're not even eating a high protein, high fat diet, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Because that would be our, our stage of the most growth we would experience. If we're not even eating it then, but yet we are, the majority of humans are eating a high fat, high protein diet now. No wonder everyone is so overweight and so obese and have high cholesterol, heart attacks, strokes, so many different illnesses and diseases associated with having too much fat on your body. Um, and that is because of eating too high fat, too high protein. So we want to be focusing on low fat and lower protein because that is all we need. We, our human bodies do not recognize um, and do not use protein. Our body actually recognizes and utilizes amino acids and we get amino acids from fruits and vegetables and other whole plant foods. So our body will collect these amino acids throughout the day, let's say, and build it up into the protein that our body needs to use and utilize. A human being really does not need that much fat to be healthy, to have healthy hormones, to have a healthy, um, functioning, optimal body. All you need is between 5 and 15%. You can go up to 20%, some people feel okay with that and don't experience any negative effects. However, it is optimal for the human to be eating anywhere between 5 and 15% of your total daily calories from fats. 
So again, if you are eating high carbohydrate, which that is our species specific diet, if you're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, if you want to eat some cooked foods like some cooked whole grains, cooked um, root vegetables, squashes, other tubers like potatoes, sweet potatoes, then that is most optimal. So what you'd be doing is focusing your calories, your primary um, your bulk of your calories would be from those foods and you can add in a little bit of nuts and seeds a little bit of Avocado and that's all you would need maybe like half an avocado to a full avocado per day um, And limit yourself limit yourself to that you will see and feel the drastic changes now um, That's what I suggest that is what I promote because of the research and studies that I have done I have been through my um, my education um, everything that I have learned personally, everything that I've experienced, pushes me in that direction. Now, lately I've been getting a few questions about omega-3s and 6s. So, a lot of people understand that there are um, omega-6 in a lot of plant foods. So, that doesn't seem to be an issue. Um, and it, we're always being pushed, pushed, pushed by the media. Um, and, and studies and, 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 and facts from people and gurus to say that, oh, we need more omega-3s, more omega-3s. Um, increase your omega-3 ratio to your 6 ratio. So I wanted to stress that you can get, and there are plenty of omega-3s in fruits and vegetables. So um, if you're coming from an animal-based diet or you're someone who is eating your typical t uh, standard American diet, you would think, oh, you know, omega-3s are in fishes and fish oils. Um, however, there are some vegans who have been eating plant-based vegan for a year or two years or three years, and their, their understanding of omega-3s is that it's only found in nuts and seeds and, and, and avocado and uh, fats. Oh, I have to have to eat some hemp seeds. I have to eat some flax seeds to get my omega threes. Well, yeah, it is found in those foods, but it is also found in fruits and vegetables. And I don't know why this is so incredibly overlooked. Um, there are lots of whole plant raw fruits and vegetables that you can eat that are high in omega threes. Okay, so I wanted to point out that there are two main. Um, sources of omega-3s. There is ALA and there is DHA. So some really great high sources of omega-3 ALA would be romaine lettuce, clementines, broccoli, cauliflower, spinach, kale, iceberg lettuce, um, tangerines, and berries, all types of berries. So those are just a few of the many sources that are very high in omega-3s ALA. So this is when it comes into play where you see a lot of people and health gurus and health professionals push omega-3 supplements for DHA um, in fish and fish oils. However, the actual best quality, the best source, the uh, most sustainable and cruelty-free vegan of most importantly uh, is actually a plant-based source. Omega-3 DHA is actually very, very high in a plant-based source of algae. Again, it's incredibly sustainable, it's cruelty-free, um, and it's very, very high quality. It's a high source of omega-3 DHA. So all you would have to do is eat dulse, eat some algae. And you really don't need a, a shit ton of it, right? So the problem with the standard American diet and the reason why so many health gurus and health professionals are pushing to eat more omega-3s is because the omega-3, omega-6 ratio that they are eating is off balance, it's off skew. So optimally, what the WHO, the World Health Organization suggests is that you are to eat um, a ratio of one to four. So um, for every one gram of omega-3, you want about four grams of omega-6. So the problem in today's society is that too many people are eating too many omega-6s. So they're eating an incredible amount of omega-6 to the ratio of omega-3. So just cut down on your omega-6 and you will get that perfect ratio. All right guys, so to sum it up, I wanna stress that it is important and it's very healthy and it's optimal to be eating a low-fat diet. 
but you just want to make sure you are getting in your overt fats. You are eating some avocado, some nuts and seeds occasionally, and you want to be eating a lot of fruits and vegetables because fruits and vegetables are incredibly high in those omega-3s that I was talking about. Ideally, you can be eating anywhere between 5 and up to 20% of your daily calories from fats. That is most optimal. It's very healthy. It's very nourishing for the body. And that is actually the perfect amount. That's all you need. So essentially, that is all you need for a healthy body. Now, again, when it comes to omega-3s and 6s, you want that really healthy ratio. So just... Um, lower your intake of foods that are higher higher in omega-6s so you get that one to four ratio and then you can increase your amount of omega-3s if you like by eating more of those fruits and vegetables I was saying that were high in ALA omega-3s and introduce some algae, algae into your life so eat some more dulse eat some more um, sea vegetables that are high in the DHA omega-3. So I, I hope you guys found this video helpful, inspiring. Um, I will leave uh, several links down below, so if you're still a bit skeptical about the whole low-fat, high-carb thing, um, if you want some more information, more statistics, more studies, um, take a look at that down there. And if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for notifications. I will see you guys next time. Bye!